everybody, my name is Ilse coming at you from HobbyKR.com with another video. Today I'll be taking you with me to the Korean premiere of the Ao Buta movie or Senpai does not know what Rascal does not dream of funny girl senpai. I don't know if it's like the premiere or if it's the only screening that there's gonna be in Korea. So basically how these events work is um, Anna Plus usually has them. You are able to buy a special ticket, so it'll usually cost around 33,000 won. And you, with that, you get a special ticket and character goods, and you're able to watch the movie. They only show it twice in one day, in one theater. And I don't think this movie is gonna get like wider release than that. Uh, they did the same thing for Heaven's Feel, and that one did get screenings on later days, but I don't know if this one will because I haven't seen it in the Korean websites. So I'm gonna take you to see how the event is kind of laid out, to see if they're gonna have decorations, I'm gonna show you the, the goods that I get, and in the end I will give you my review of the movie. So without further ado, let's get going. Band to go in. <laughs> the lighting is horrible, so I'll show this again when I get home. But we have two enamel pins. So this is my. And then, and then a tote. I'm not gonna open this now, but it's just a black tote and it says purity syndrome and that's it. <laughs> Pretty basic. And then a special edition ticket. Pretty cute. I made it back right before it started raining the movie was so good I cried so much and honestly it fulfilled my expectations I really really liked it before giving you my review I'm gonna show you uh, the goods up close because the lighting at the theater was horrible so as I showed you uh, the first thing is a special edition ticket oh well before that um, you have, we had a wristband to go in, so it just has the title in Korean and Anna Plus. Super cute touch, I thought. And you get like a special edition uh, ticket, so here it is. It's literally just like a bookmark, a piece of paper. It's nothing like super special, but it's cute, I guess. Then you get a uh, Mai and a Shoko pin. So enamel pin. So we have my. I don't know if you can see without the glare there. Super cute and shuffle. And finally, you get a tote. The tote is cute, I guess. I think it's a little bit plain. I would have preferred something that had like Mai on it or Sakuta on it or like something more, but it just says pu puberty syndrome and the definition of puberty syndrome. I do like that it's black though because I'm definitely gonna wear it. I 
think it's useful. And I do like that it has like a little clasp. And it has a pocket inside, I think. Does it? Never mind. No pocket. I will use it, I just wish it was like more anime. -y. So the ticket was 33,000, I think that's a good price for what you get because a ticket for a movie would normally be like 12,000 and then I for the tote and the two pins I feel like how much would that be um 19,000 can I do math yeah 19,000 I think it's okay <laughs> um but it was honestly so good so my review this is more like, uh, I have never read the novels, so I can't give you my point of view from that perspective, but um, this is more like an extended episode. Like, I don't know where this falls in terms of the novels, but what my only like complaint would be that I didn't feel like there was like too much character development. So this movie serves the purpose of like explaining the, the Shoko mystery, like who Shoko is, why she keeps popping up in Sakuta's life, and the effect she has on like Sakuta and Mai, and like everyone else that Sakuta pretty much knows. So I would call it like an extended episode in the sense that you don't really like, nothing really progresses from the story that you watched in the anime but you do get to understand uh, like Shoko and Sakuta's history better and like a bunch of other things happen but still it was number one animation was gorgeous uh, the first thing that drew me to Aobuta when it came out because it's not the kind of anime that I would watch regularly uh, was the art I thought Mai looked so beautiful and I really wanted to watch the anime and same here like the movie looks as gorgeous as the anime Everyone looks cute. Kaede gets a haircut. <laughs> Super cute. But yeah, animation music, like everything was really cute. It really tied in well with the anime, especially with the music. Uh, it's very similar to the anime, including the ending song. And it was really cool to get to know like the reality of who Shoko is. And everything that happens is nice. Um, I'm like torn because everything that happens is kind of like there's consequences but then there's not really any consequences or like there's bad things that happen but like then not really bad things that happen but I guess like if it had been just a sad story I think I would have been dissatisfied as well so I guess it ended well I'm really upset spoiler we don't get to see a freaking Sakuta and my kiss again upsetting <laughs> but still their relationship was really cute although for most of the movie i kept being like my you deserve better than this shit because sakuta was disappointing me honestly and i thought this a lot in the anime too i was like super torn between thinking that sakuta was a really good guy but also thinking that mai could do so much better because i love mai she's one of my favorite like female characters in anime so I was torn as well, but in the end, I think all the characters had like good parts to play. Not enough Futaba in my opinion, but she serves her purpose in the movie-ish and um, she looks gorgeous as always. So if you are able to watch the movie, be it in the theater or not, I really recommend it, especially if you liked the season of Aobuta. And that is all I have to say. I had such a good time. I was really glad that I could experience this. And I hope you enjoyed watching, even though it was like a shorter video because there wasn't really much to show. As always, please head to hobbykr.com for more anime content. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at hobby.kr. Until next time, goodbye.